In this video, you're going to see how to construct ASA triangles using GeoGebra. ASA triangles are triangles where you have two angles and one side in between them. So the A's are for the angles and the S is for the side. So ASA means angle, side, angle, which is what we've got here. So again, your page won't look like this. I've put this image in here so that we know what we're trying to draw. Um, you've got your geometry tools open and we've clicked on the more button here to so that We've got all the tools available uh, and we've got an empty space to draw in. So uh, you should already have watched the SSS video, so you should know the basics of how to construct these. Right, for the ASA triangle, we're going to have to use some angle tools and it's they're a bit fiddly to use, so it's important you follow the instructions for those carefully. But we're going to start off the same as we did before. Segment we've given length to draw our base. Um, our base is nine, so the instructions say select point there select length nine and press ok and there's our base now we need to measure the angle 60 degrees at one corner and the way we do that is this angle with given size tool under measure so click on that now the instructions here are a little bit fiddly and this is where you've got to be very careful we want the angle at c from this line from the base so you need to click in the points in the right direction because we want the angle at C, you click D and then C. You must click them that way round, otherwise you'll get the angle in the wrong place. The angle is 60 degrees, so let's type 60 in there instead of 45. And we want the angle to measure clockwise rather than, uh, sorry, anti-clockwise, not clockwise. We want it to measure anti-clockwise. Uh, if yours says counterclockwise, that's okay, that's the same thing. So you've got that and click on OK. And you can see there it constructs the angle and the point B. Now, if your angle appears down here, it means you clicked clockwise. So just do Control Z or Command Z to undo and redo it. If your angle appears at this end, you click C and D in the wrong order. So again, just undo and redo. Right, we've got the point there. Now we need the line going through that. We don't know how long that line's going to be. The line we want is a ray. You can use a line, but a ray is better. A ray is like a ray of light shining from a torch. So it starts at a particular point, torch, and it stretches on into the distance of that. So we'll make sure that goes through D. Again, make sure your cursor changes so it docks on the point D. Now we're gonna draw the angle at D. Uh, and so we'll go back to angle with given size. Because we want the angle at D, we're going to click C and then D. Now it's gonna ask us for the angle. We want an angle of 50 degrees, so we'll change that to 50 and this angle here we're now going to be measuring clockwise so we need to change that to clockwise click on ok and there's our 50 degree angle go to ray and put that instruction line in clicking on d first then going to c so those are the two lines it's exactly the same as you would do if you were drawing it with um, a flatter pencil and ruler okay and here's the point for the third corner of our triangle so go black back to your tools click on point Hover over there, and you should get your point in just the right place. Okay. Now we're going to check by using move that we've got our construction right before we do anything else. So click move. The only points you can move, you can't move any of these points, the only ones you can move are the two points at the beginning. If you drag your first point, mine is called C, it moves the shape. If you drag D, it rotates it. Okay. Nothing else should move, and when you move them, everything should stay in place, and that means your construction's okay. Right, another fiddly little bit here. We need to remove some of the construction lines, but not all of them just yet. So I want you to go to your algebra by clicking on the calculator icon, and I want you just to remove these two ray lines. We put those in place to get this point. Now, when you're doing this on paper, of course, you can just erase the part you don't want, but with GeoGebra, it's a little bit more fiddly we need to erase all of it and then put another line segment in place. So look on here for where it says ray, there's one there and there's one there and remove those. While we're here, we can also remove these points that were used in the construction of the ray. So this is called C prime, the C with the apostrophe and D prime and we can remove those. Now we need to put our lines in here, go back to the geometry tools Choose segment at the top, click on C, 
join it to E, click on D, join it to E, and there's our triangle. Let's get all the missing angles and side lengths shown and remove the parts we don't want. So we don't really want the uh, dots at the corner of the triangle. So let's go back to our algebra window and these dots, don't worry if you haven't got all of these things showing. Um, point C are removed. Now you can see that's gone from the diagram. Um, point D and E, if we scroll down, there's point D and here's point E. Okay, and we've removed those. Now we need to show the missing angles and length. So we need to put an angle in first. Let's go back to our tools. As I said, this is quite fiddly, a lot of jumping around. Choose our angle tool, not angle we've given size, but angle this time. It's a different tool. Click on angle. We want the angle showing here. So click on the two lines to make up that angle. And we have that showing. Okay, let's go back to select objects. The final part is to make sure we've got all the side lengths showing. Click and drag to select the triangle. Click on the three dots and choose settings and then show label and change that to show the value. And then we see the value of everything. We'll close that window down, we'll go to move and then we can just drag these elements inside the triangle be a bit closer to the triangle the angle there and there is our finished triangle for you and you can take a copy of that or save that as a completed triangle